What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Sputnik and in today's video we're going to be going over the Duga Radar Station. This POI is relatively new. It was added to the game with the .85 update and from the outside looking in it looks like it doesn't have much to offer but stick around till the end of the video to find out what hidden treasures this POI possesses. This POI can realistically be broken down into three sections, maybe even four. The first section being the radar tower, the second section being the office building, the third section being the control building, and the fourth section being the parking lot. Starting with the office building there really isn't much to offer in here besides some abandoned vending machines and office supplies as the name suggests. Other than having nothing really loot related, it's just a cool area to kind of explore and check out. Definitely has really good peaks for PvP. I kind of hope they turn this into a PvP event map. You'll find your occasional building supplies, but on the roof is really where you want to go. Now on top of the office building roof, there is quite literally nothing, but next to it is the control room rooftop that has an armory. Not really an armory, but it has three weapon lockers, a bunch of regular lockers, and some decent loot. There's also a bunch of military crates in the control room building, which is way better than the office building, and honestly, you could probably self sustain in this area if you built over here oh yeah and it's also not radioactive this area does not give you radiation okay so moving on to the control building we go down this ladder hatch here and you're gonna be welcomed with some boxes which will have your building supplies we're really here for the military crates there's like a room full of them which could spawn really good loot this is vanilla and i got a rocket out of it so here's how you get to the room real quick we're gonna run around and look at the control room because it looks really cool but it's not that it's actually the power room which is located right next to it. If you go into the power room to the left, there's gonna be a bunch of military crates, but if you go to the closet all the way at the end of it, that's where you can find really good loot. Definitely a good area if you're trying to remain low key and kind of hide away from the other groups. With that being said, the control room is the next room that has somewhat loot. These boxes sometimes spawn screwdrivers, so if you get lucky, you might get some in here. Uh, occasionally liquor bottles will spawn on the ground too. Moving on to the basement or the first floor of the control building. This is where the best loot is. There's a bunch of boxes here that are lootable. There's a palm tree. There's a service station that has a toolbox that usually gives you 40 out of 40 screwdrivers or rebar cutters. It has a workbench and a drill press so you can make ammo or craft in here. And that's all we got for the two main buildings. Moving on to the parking lot. The parking lot's really just good for car spawns, scrap, this little security post that usually has shotgun ammo or pistol ammo, sometimes even screwdrivers if you're lucky. A few military crates which are worth looting and the tool shed which will give you your building supplies, rubber gloves, and sometimes screwdrivers. Okay, now for the coolest part of the video, the actual radar tower. Now the radar tower is extremely high, you have to climb up it. Each tower has a broken ladder on certain levels. I think after four or five levels, there's a catwalk, so you can kind of go to the other ladders and climb up if you want to get all the way to the top. Now once you get to the top, you can actually place a flag, well you can place a flag anywhere on here, but I would recommend placing it on the top, and then put a little post right here in front of the actual ladder, therefore making your base unraidable. Now, if you have the time to climb all the way up and put all your loot up here and climb all the building materials up here, yeah, it's going to take a while to do that, but you will be unraidable. I don't even think you can parachute into this monument either. Should I try building a base up here for one of the wipes? Let me know down below in the comments. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. That's all we have for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and comment, and be sure to subscribe for some more scum content.